Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about a useful WordPress plugin named Extensions for CF7. This plugin works as an add-on that extends the functionalities of the famous Contact Form 7 plugin. Today, I'll show you how to install this plugin and introduce you to some of the amazing features available in this plugin. So, without wasting any more time, let's begin. First of all, click on Add New and upload the plugin. Then, click on the Install Now button to install the plugin. Once the plugin is installed, activate the plugin. After installing the plugin, a new menu will appear on the left side of the dashboard panel called HTCF7 Extension. If you hover over the menu, you will notice that it has three submenus. These are the features of this plugin. The first one is CF7 DB, then CF7 Conditional, and the last one is CF7 Redirection. I will show you what exactly you can do using these features step by step. Let's start with the CF7 DB, which stands for Contact Form 7 Database. I assume that you already know that when a user submits a form, all the information the user provides will be stored in a database. Well, this feature will list all the submission data in a table format. Let's see what's in there by clicking on this menu. As you can see, all the forms created using the Contact Form 7 plugin are listed over here in a table format. This column right here will display the total number of submissions for each contact form. Now I am going to show you how this feature works. First, I'll add a contact form to a page. Since we already have a contact form, let's copy the shortcode. To create a new page, Click on Add New from the Pages menu. Insert a page title and paste the copied shortcode over here. Then publish the page and click on the View Page link to see if the contact form has been added. We can see that the contact form has been added to the page successfully. Now we are going to fill in the form fields and submit the form. Before submitting the form, Go to the CF7DB menu to check the submission count. As you can see, the submission count is zero at this moment. Let's go ahead and submit the form. After submitting the form, we'll return to the page where we saw the submission count. Now I'll reload the page. You'll notice that the submission count has become one. That means this form has got one submission. If we submit the form again and check this page, we'll see that the submission count will increase by one. To check all the submission details under a certain form, all you need to do is click on the form title and you will see all the submissions are listed over here. If you click on View, you can see the full details of the sender. This plugin also allows you to delete submissions as per your needs. Besides, there is a date range filter using which you can easily search for a submission. Another extraordinary feature of this plugin is that it lets you import and export all the submission data to a CSV file. Let's export the existing submission data from our website to a CSV file. If we open the file, we will see the information for every submission is stored in a table format. Now, I will show you how to import submission data. Before moving forward, we'll delete these data since we already exported them to a CSV file. First, click on the Choose File button and upload the CSV file that we just exported a few moments ago. Then click on Import CSV. Once we import the file, you'll see that all of the data will get imported. This is how you can use the Export and Import feature easily. If you have any questions regarding this video, please let us know in the comments below. So that's it for today's video. 
In the next video, I will discuss another feature of this plugin. Until then, take care and bye bye